by the new riders. This is the hotel. I'm just going to do a little video on the way to the theme park. We're going to the theme park now. Phoenix has said we haven't been here for four years. Didn't think it was that long. I think that's actually the last. Steve, the last time we came, they were advertising the new ride was getting built, so it is four years. I'm not sure if I'm meant to wear my mask now or not. I don't know. Ever. We've gone the wrong way about five times already. I think it was the way I was saying, Mr. Stephen. For once, I think I was going the right way. How lovely is this, though? Inside Fantasia Land. Oh, I love this place. It's so lush. So that's the entrance of the hotel just there. And then the parks here. So now we're actually in the park. So we're going to go and find this new area. No doubt we'll, um, we'll get lost a hundred times. Stephen, leave the way, please. We need to go with the, we need to go with the big swinging chairs on. Oh, it's down here on the right. <laughs> so we need to go like the main street, the main area. It's going to be full of theme park enthusiasts. This trip we can tell because of the new fly roller coaster opening. Hmm. So this is Ta what's it called again? Taron. <laughs> so bad with names. This is Taron, which was the new roller coaster opened a few years ago, which used to have a million year queues. Hopefully, because the new ones open, that'll be oh, much quieter. Because we're staying in the hotel, we used to always get like a fast pass thing. We used to always get an extended. Sorry, I can't even speak. We used to get a fast pass, and we used to get an um, extended ride time at the end of the day. <gasps> Cheer pass. That's a lot room on the world. We'll be going on that later. <laughs> well, boys and girls, up in Fantasyland. This is the start of the queue for the new ride. It goes all the way around there. All the way down there. We're not even sure where the land is. We don't even know where you get into the land. I presume it's down here because there's another queue down here, so that looks like it there. So, a bit of a long queue. We've got four hours <laughs> before the park shuts, so fingers crossed we'll get on by then. Right, we've only queued 20 minutes so far to get here, so here's the entrance. We've we'll queued from past there where the spinning chairs are all the way down there. And we've got here to the entrance of the land in 20 minutes, so if the queue looks bad, don't worry about it too much. It goes on very quick. Like we're going in, boys and girls. False alarm. <laughs> Portal is open. It's about to go in now. How exciting is this? Small queue to get in. So that, that was the queue to get into the land, Rookburg. And now we're going to get into the land and then the queue for the actual ride. There's loads of people trying to get in without um, understanding there's a big queue, but. <laughs> oh, apparently they're not trying to get in, they're just wandering past looking. I'm accused them of all sorts. Just waiting for the go ahead, then we're going to be running in. 25 minutes, that's all it's taking. Hello. Hello. I don't know. It was a, I think it was a nice greeting off that girl, but I didn't know what she said, so I do apologise. So here we are, first view inside. Woo -hoo -hoo! Stephen's so excited to go on the ride. Oh, I'm excited already. So I haven't seen any. No, Stephen, you're not stopping looking at anything. Steve wanted to actually unpack at the hotel before we came, so soon put a stop to that. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, 
Oh, that's so gorgeous. So anyway, this is a new ride if you hadn't um, found out. I haven't even found out where the entrance is. Wait, where's the entrance, Mr. Stephen? You can take us the right way. Always get lost everywhere, so you can't rely on my, my um, sense of direction. I don't have a terrible vlog, and my camera's all over the place, but I'm too excited. Plus, I don't really know where we're going. How beautiful is this, though? Oh, it's lovely. Oh, look, look, look. And it does the photos on widescreen. See where I had a big one, you can't go back. A new ride done now we're going to go on some of the some of the older rides i say older rides only been here five minutes there's the hotel in the background and this is um taron of course chia pass is over here i want to go on chia pass that's the log flume look how good the log flume is look at the drop it's got the it's either the tallest or the steepest log flume drop in the world i forget wait until you see the board come down it's fantastic As I say, they normally have scare actors in here, but I think at the minute they probably won't. Oh, it's creepy enough, the queue, though, without anyone jumping out. And you look at this ornate queue, all this for a drop tower. Hopefully, we'll get the nice long seat, because I can't see a thing where I'm going, you know. About a file hour. It's literally pitch black, where I'm going. Is this even the right way? Right. So this is where the entrance is to the hotel. In fact, there's our hotel. Hopefully, you've got a room of the park so we can see what's going on. Oh, forget when I'm looking at my screen. I'm not looking at where I'm going. Try that trip over people's forest. So look how beautiful the hotel is. So this is. We're still in the park here. This is the Chinese part. It's amazing how they cram it all in. It's quite a small park, so everything's literally on top of each other. As I say, River Quest, which is the rapids, you go up a lift in the, um, the rapid boat, you go around the roof of the building also. So it's very, very well laid out, but very compact. And you're going to go back to the hotel now. We still haven't unpacked or anything. We've still got the stuff in the car. Oh, we have a room key. Is it in the company? Mm. Time for another room tour video, this time in Fantasialand, Germany, and this is the Lang Lingbo Hotel. I pronounce it wrong all the time, I do apologise. The Lingbo, shut the door, excuse the clatter. Oh, blown the hoolie. This is the bedroom, so it's got a nice huge big bed. It's quite nice, it's got a normal bed. Quite often in Germany, you get an unusual bed. We've stayed here before, and there was like bunk beds as well, which I think were shaped like a ship. So this is our lovely view. This is the pool down here. So I can see Fantasia Land and I can see the pool sets the pool. There's Fantasia Land. You can see various rides and stuff. Sorry if you can't see very well, it's so sunny I can't really see what I'm doing. So there's the rest of the hotel. So there's a little bonquette area. So sunny. So see here's the bed. It's a Chinese themed hotel if you hadn't um if you hadn't guessed. So there's a TV there with some water, etc. There's some sort of cabinet here, is this a mini bar or something? So there's a mini bar here with some bits and pieces in it. Oh, is, that, is this stuff free in the mini bar, Stephen? 
Mm, need to investigate that before start nibbling on 12 euro curly whirlies. Stephen's just trying to just air conditioning so I can oven in here. So here's the bathroom. It's a very, very unusual hotel. It's, as I say, we've stayed here once before. Um, and it sort of rings a bell from last time. I think I remember those. It's a good few years ago we stayed here, but it's a nice hotel. And this is where you've got the entrance direct to the theme park. So you literally walk out the back and then the theme park's there. So there's a big shower. Stephen's getting in the way. And that's all there's to show you. It's just a, is this a standard room, Stephen? I think it's a superior room. Like superior or something, but isn't a suite or anything like that. There's not an extra room, there's only the one room in here. So hope you enjoy that little mini room too. It's only a couple of minutes long because there's not that much to show you. But as I say, it's the Ling, Ling Bo. Ling Bao. Ling Bao. Ling Bao Hotel, Fantasia Land, Germany. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. This is the way in. Oh, it is. <laughs> Ooh. <What's> up, bitch? <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's quite cute in here, isn't it? This is the hotel next door, so we're just having a little explore. It's rather sweet, it's African themed.
Friday the trip's going to be Taron and we're going to go for a dip in the pool. Hope you've enjoyed our little trip. I've done the Fantasyland one and the Europa Park video vlog. I don't call it a vlog. A videoette. A few clips of videos filmed on me iPhone and then I added some music to them. So I hope you've enjoyed my little videos if you've been watching them. If not, tune in next time. There might be another one about the car or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to Taron now, which I believe is this way. For once, I sort of know where I'm going. I think it's over this bridge. Here's the beauty now. I haven't seen it go around for ages, hope it's not broken. Anyway, that's enough of my wobbly footage for one night. Take care, take care everybody, I'll speak to you all soon. Well boys and girls, that's it for our German super duper trip. We just left Fantasyland about 10 minutes ago, about an hour away from the airport. Um, trip's been fantastic, Europa Park's excellent as ever, Fantasyland was really good, um, hope you've enjoyed our little bits of videos I've put together, don't know how long this video is going to have been, probably about 16 hours long, but I'll edit it down to about 10 minutes, anyway, hope everyone's enjoyed it, thanks for watching everyone, bye bye! How quiet the airport is. This is Dusseldorf Airport, normally, normally be absolutely heaving. So it's six people here. Completely empty, isn't it? Absolutely deserted. Still being peaceful though. I'm gonna get a sandwich. So people keep asking us how empty the airport is at the minute. This is Dusseldorf Airport, which is normally be absolutely heaving. It's probably about six people in it. Just had a lovely sandwich from over there, it's very nice. But look how quiet it is. There's literally nobody here. Most of the shops are shut. It is quite early, but the shops were shut when we came the other day and it was sort of like tea time when we flew here. So it's absolutely quiet. That shop's open, but everything else is closed. Just sort of show you this because everybody keeps asking what the airport's like traveling through this unusual period. Hope everyone's doing all right at home. Speak to you later, bye bye. Yeah, nothing first time. Yeah, okay. That's why you're with me. It's a little bit. To a flat for life. To a flat for life. To a flat for life. To a flat for life.